Two days after the U.S. president gave Kiev permission to use long-range American weapons against targets inside the Russian Federation, President Vladimir Putin signed the new Russian nuclear doctrine he had spoken about earlier, Dmitry Medvedev began talking about the approach of a third world war, and Russia began producing mobile shelters in case of a nuclear war. The updated guidelines were first unveiled by Putin in late September, at which point former President Dmitry Medvedev said the new policy should be considered a response to the neo-Nazi Ukrainian regime and its allies for pushing the world towards a nuclear catastrophe. Medvedev was referring to Kiev's continual push for permission to use Western-supplied weaponry for long-range strikes inside Russian territory. According to the Telegram channel Baza, said to have links to Russia's intelligence services, the large-scale launch of missiles against Russia, including those carried by Atoms, would provide grounds for retaliatory action by Moscow under the new guidelines. Actions aimed at isolating part of the territory of the Russian Federation, are also included as preconditions for a nuclear response. As well as outlining the parameters for the use of nuclear weapons based on threats to its own territorial integrity, the updated guidelines would regard Belarus, a close ally of Russia, as protected by the country's nuclear umbrella, with any attack on the country viewed as an attack against Moscow itself and meriting a response. Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev predicted the start of World War III after the update of Russia's nuclear doctrine. The politician noted that Kiev's use of NATO long-range weapons to strike Russian territories could be considered an attack, so Ukraine and its allies in the military bloc should be prepared for retaliatory measures. In this case, the right arises to launch a retaliatory strike with weapons of mass destruction against Kiev and the main NATO facilities, wherever they are. And this is already WWII, he added. The deputy chairman of the Security Council added that the current head of the White House, Joe Biden, deliberately allowed Ukraine to use American missiles to attack Russia before leaving office. The politician suggested that the American leader wanted to leave gracefully, taking with him a significant part of humanity. Medvedev recalled that the Ukrainian army had previously attempted to strike Russia with long-range missiles. It is not so important who and when made the decision to use NATO countries' long-range tactical ballistic and cruise missiles deep into the territory of Russia. Especially since there have already been attempts to use them in our country, the politician emphasized. The politician noted that Moscow's enemies are counting not only on the military effect of using long-range weapons, but also on the informational one. Medvedev said that the permission given by Western countries for Ukraine to strike deep into Russia is a deliberate escalation of the current conflict. He added that now the team of the elected US President Donald Trump will have to work hard to deal with the consequences of the decisions made by the Biden administration. Israeli airstrikes targeted a neighborhood in the heart of Lebanon's capital late Monday evening, slamming into an area near the parliament, several embassies, and the UN headquarters, according to Lebanon's state-run National News Agency. Lebanon's health ministry said at least five people were killed and 31 wounded. An Associated Press reporter at the scene in Beirut described significant casualties on the street as ambulance sirens echoed through the area. On Tuesday, residents and officials accessed the damage. Since late September, Israel has dramatically escalated its bombardment of Lebanon, vowing to cripple the militant group Hezbollah and end its barrages into Israel. Over the past year, more than 3,500 people have been killed in Lebanon by Israeli fire 80% of them in the past month Lebanon's health ministry says. The current wave of conflict gripping the Middle East began when the Palestinian militant group Hamas stormed from Gaza into Israel on October 7, 2023, killing some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducting around 250. Hezbollah began firing into Israel on October 8, 2023, in solidarity with Hamas. Israel's war in Gaza has killed over 43,800 Palestinians, according to local health authorities. The officials do not distinguish between militants and civilians but say most of those killed are women and children. The fighting has left 77 people dead in Israel, including 31 soldiers.
Terras. مارق من هون امبارح ما في خمس دقائق بيني وبينهم وصلت على الدرج وطلعت الدبه اول دبه وثاني دبه أه ما لقيت الا عائلتي حملت حالها ونزلت على الطريق ونزلوا على المليسه وهم من الروح الله بيعلم جرنا من الضاحية على بيروت عم يضربوا المهجرين لحونا على بيروت عم يضربوا المهجرين ما عم بيخلوا حدا ما عم بيخلوا حدا والله يحمي حزب الله